Hey gearheads and welcome to Garage Talk. I'm Matt and this is the 2016 Harley Davidson Street Bob. And thanks to our great friends at Lone Star Harley Davidson, this one could be yours if I don't buy it first. I am in love with this bike. It is spectacular. Do us a huge favor. Be sure to hit that subscribe button down below and turn the notifications on so you get notified anytime we post something new or exciting like this incredible piece of machinery in front of me. And if you want to know some behind the scenes details or maybe get an early peek at some of the things we're riding or driving, check us out on Facebook and Instagram, both at GT Garage Talk. And our award-winning podcast, along with everything else that we do, can be found at gtgaragetalk.com. This is the way I would have this bike if I were to buy this bike, which you may have to arm wrestle me for, because this one happens to be sale at Lone Star Harley-Davidson right here in Tyler, Texas. And this one, 2016, it does only have 9,300 miles on it. It's got a couple of aftermarket goodies, like I mentioned, the Vance and Heinz pipes. And uh, good grief, the black and chrome and green work together so incredibly well. But let's go through some of the details of this bike and then let's hop on it and take it for a spin on this incredibly cold day in December here in East Texas. So one of the things that stands out almost immediately on this bike for me is one of the aftermarket parts that I would probably do to just about any bike that I bought and that is these staggered length Vance and Hines long shot pipes. I love these pipes on this bike and many others, and they sound so good, especially on this 103 cubic inch V-twin from Harley Davidson. When it comes to options, simple is the name of the game with this one. From the single gauge cluster, which doesn't tell you much of anything, you do have a fuel gauge off here to one side, to the lack of fairing, the single seat, the luggage rack, this bike is the quintessential stripped down Harley. And a very classic look with the skinny front tire, the black rim and the chrome spokes on the front here. And not just a super wide rear tire, this has got a 160 on the back, but with that similar, well, with the identical black rim and chrome spokes back here in the back. This is the street bob, which means, of course, the bobbed rear fender and a more stripped down and simplistic approach to what's already a very simple mode of transportation. All right, gloves are going on. Oh yeah, it's a chilly day. All right, so I'm gonna drop that down. So one thing I'm noticing immediately, other than it being ridiculously cold today, is the controls are not set up for me. They're way up close, way up tight. So that would be some adjustments that I would have to make, but It's just nothing like a Harley. Oh yeah. 
man I don't even care that it's cold today all right so we are on the 2016 Harley Davidson Street Bob it's got the 103 it's got Vance and Hines long shots on it which sound incredible I mean that's Harleys are Harleys right they're gonna sound like a Harley Harley Davidson has a sound building that they put all the bikes through to test the pipes to test the sound of everything to make sure that everything that they sell sounds like a Harley I love that about them you could argue that they could invest a little more in some of the quality and things like that but I'll tell you and this is a 2016 it's got just under 10,000 miles on it it fired right up it rides so smooth other than the typical Harley unbalanced engine which you know takes a little getting used to but it's not world ending by any means and uh, dude it's just it's so good I really like this bike it, I really I really like this bike oh I'm in trouble the 103 has got plenty of power for this bike it is way more than enough for how lightweight this thing is uh, for a for a cruiser anyway but the handling is great it's not crazy short on the wheelbase but it's not stupid long either I mean you're still you're still on a street Bob so you know getting in and out of traffic commuting in this bike would be great um, man I'm not upset at all with this bike at the moment man it's fast <laughs> this is fantastic fantastic let's check out the brakes and see how they do Oh yeah. I love the pop. As I mentioned before, the controls on this bike are not set up for me. My knees are a little high, kind of sitting up hair tight. The road bars are pretty nice, pretty comfortable. I don't mind that. But the shifter is kind of a little high and a little uptight. Makes it a little difficult to shift, but it's not anything that couldn't be adjusted or maneuvered. So. It just goes so nice. So nice handles so incredibly well it's lightweight like cruisers are not known necessarily for being lightweight but this one is really nice it's nimble not a lot of weight on the handlebars so it's not fighting you the whole time and man it's quick it's so quick and it is so fun Oh, just a little damp and chilly today here in East Texas. We had a cold front blow through last night that cooled everything off by about 30 degrees. So it's in the low 50s right now. The sun's trying to peak out, but not sure if it's gonna. Not sure if it's gonna get there. But we're gonna enjoy the day riding anyway. I really am enjoying this bike the handlebars are at the right height for me they're wide enough that you get plenty of leverage but not so wide that you feel like you're you know gonna clip cars as you go by 
and this thing just sounds so good those vance and vance and heinz long shots are so worth the money the low end torque the grunt in this thing so there's all the way up in sixth gear i'm doing about 40 which means really this is a highway bike as well as a commuter I'm in love this is terrible I'm in love with this bike and uh, <laughs> well there you have it folks the 2016 Harley Davidson Street Bob from our awesome friends at Lone Star Harley Davidson right here in Tyler Texas if you are in the market for a new or pre-owned bike be sure to come check them out and uh, man if this is the kind of content you want to see more of please like and subscribe and leave me a comment what are some of the bikes and things that you want to see on this channel what are some uh maybe some utvs or atvs something uh something a little more wild and crazy but certainly for the motorcycles if this is something that you enjoy if this is something you want to see more of if there's a particular bike you're interested in let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe as we look forward to more opportunities like this we'll be sharing them on youtube and on facebook and instagram both at gt garage talk you can find some behind the scenes stuff some more wild and crazy stuff that we do on a regular basis but uh at least for this one this is going to be the end of it we'll see y'all next time